Night has fallen in Los Angeles and we are in the Grove. Fancy Pants Shopping District that is fully embraced for the holidays. As you can see, the big guy is here, hanging out. But uh, he won't be bringing us the toys that we need. The toys that we need are behind me at the Barnes & Nobles here in the Grove, in the middle of Hollywood. This is a real fancy pants store. It is three stories tall. And we're looking for Criterion. I'm gonna be joined by Little Master Missy and her pal Lauren. We're going to be uh, browsing our butts off, at least I am, because the sale, the 50% off sale continues. Join me, shall you? Hail to the king, baby. Hello, motherfucker. Feast your eyes on this one. Three floors. That was missing her power going up the stairs right there. Three floors. I believe the media is right there. Okay, jackpot. They've got this big shelf. Uh, not shelf, but whatever. Big liner thing. Plus one over there. Big area right there. And an end cap. Let's take a look at the new releases real quick. Love it. It's nice that they have this. So you can just grab and go. Some of the newer titles. We've talked about all these before, but uh, it bears repeating since we're visiting these again. Alright, let's just start at the top. A. Now I'm not going to flip through these because they have so many copies of everything that they're all just kind of stacked like that. So it'll just be sort of a browse from afar kind of thing. We won't be flipping through. So let's see what they got. Let's start here. Uh, let's see. I'm sure I'll be able to find something to take away. I like to buy at least two per store if possible. Oh, no worries. Ooh, no in cool blood. This, uh, I've been wanting to get this. It's been a, mm, okay, yeah, this is on the list. I'm gonna put that right there. Let's see, great movie. Highly recommend that. Uh, funeral's good, but not one to own, I don't think. For me, anyway. Hiroshima Mon Amor. Filmed by Alain Renan. Renas? I don't say that. Renan? I can't. Alain. 1959. Mm. Okay. Maybe not, not, not this time. I've talked about how much I don't like this movie, so yeah. I won't mention it again. Being there is great. Let me check. Just double checking. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it is like that. They just have a ton of copies, which is great. Definitely great. This is definitely the store to go if you're looking for titles. And you're in Los Angeles. Been a lot. Blind Chance. I don't know that one. Haven't heard of that. that that's a new title. I mean, probably. It's, from, it's 765. It's not new, but new to me. Death in Venice. I've seen this. Oh, Visconti. I'm not a big Visconti fan, to be honest. You don't do it for me. Uh, let's see. By the way, I have a letterbox. Link in the description of this video. If you have letterbox, join me there. I'll be reviewing a whole bunch of Criterion titles as well as a whole bunch of others. I'm trying to get to a thousand movies this year. I'm pretty close. The Bridge, I hear that's really good, but maybe if there's a Blu-ray, I'm not I'm trying not to buy DVDs anymore. That little blue dress is great. Beautiful movie. Buster Keaton. Good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Um, Arrow's on sale, by the way. You can get the shell scope set. And some criterion titles up there. So, let's see. Okay, so let's start this section. Well, let's do it from the bottom here. Let's see. Le, le Humanité, I think. I, I don't know that one. Not familiar with that. Lady Eve is just okay. Lady Snowblood collection, I recommend. The hit is pretty good. Uh, okay. His Girl Friday. It's, it's a good one. I like that one. Howard Hawks. That 
let's see. Da, 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 da. The Circle Foolish. I love that movie. And what, ah, what sucks is this is like the 4K. I have the DVD of this movie. And oh, I don't know. I don't know. Love it so much. It's really good. Maybe in another sale I'll do that. Kuroneko, highly recommend that one. It's so good. Let's see, Lewin Davis. I don't know, it didn't really blow me away. It did not blow me away. Haxon, great. Great cinema right there. Hard Day's Night. Is that the 4K? What is the 4K? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Mistress Chaos loves the Beatles, but she does not really care for physical media, believe it or not. Sadly, that wouldn't really do anything for her. Uh, Dragon Inn, highly recommend this one. Very good. Very, very good. Are you, are you shopping too? Yeah. You want to get this one with the weird cat on it? It might, it might get a 4K, you never know. I already have my shopping You got your shopping, your shopping, uh, whatever that's called, box? What do you call those things? Basket, that's the word. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, make sure you put those back in the right order. Don't go crazy. Oh, I'm just fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Inland Sea. Oh, actually, I heard this was really good. Inland Sea. I don't know anything about it, but I hear it's very good. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to that. Hoop Dreams, not a big fan. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to make sure we cover it, or didn't, we're miss, not missing anything on this side. We covered everything. Let's go to the other section. Uh, that other one um, is tapped out. I think we've seen everything there. Nothing really jumped out at me. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. One Eye Jacks, kinda, but it's a DVD, but Marlon Brando movie. It's not great, but just sort of just to, to have it, maybe. Hey, the Criterion Collection 4K edition. Oh, hey, good eyes. Look. I'll buy some of it. You're right. This is a sort of an end cap of just the 4K titles. That's neat. And that's my collection. Okay, good job. <laughs> good job. Ooh, rules of the game on Blu-ray? Mm, I actually didn't really love it. Again, it's just one of those things like maybe just to have it, but I, I don't think I I'm going need up it. so I can find more movies. All right, have a fun adventure. Okay, say hello. Yeah, no thanks. I expect it to be on 4K. Uh, <laughs> eventually, um, I would not be surprised. Sanjuro. Baba. It's not, not an alphabetical order, of course. We're just gonna, well, you know, going up the racks here. Well, maybe we should do it this way. It might be easier if we just go from a top row to top row. Minding the gap. No, that's not, that's not for me. Mississippi Masala is a really kind of cute movie, but nothing I want to own. I can't never even use the term cute normally, but somehow it applies there. Nightmare Alley, really highly recommend. Night of the Living Dead, absolutely. Uh, Panic, I've already said it's really good. Uh, Night of the Living Dead 4K, I don't know about how I feel about that. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Naked Prey. You know, there really isn't much for me to pick out. I'm kind of uh, bummed. This thing really is jumping out at me. <coughs> Yeah. Well, we're not done, done, but still. Okay, let's do this aisle. I've never seen that one before. That's that's a new title to me. Paris belongs to us. Wim Wenders or Vim Wenders, I guess is how you pronounce it. Paris, Texas. What did you find? Oh, you got some arrow titles. This is this is this is steelbook. It's a steelbook. Yeah, that's not a good movie. Oh. And that's backwards. Switchblade Sisters. Yeah, that's a fun little movie. I'll put those back upstairs. Good job. Good find. He's really not going upstairs. He's just uh, <laughs> he's just behind me. The Passion of Jean d'Arc. This is a, uh, a dryer film. 
beautiful movie, and I don't have it. And I just bought Vampire. Shit. Add that to the list. Okay, good. So I've got three potentials to walk away with today. And I'm only picking two. I think two is good. I think two is good. Yeah. Can't wait for the eventual conversation with the Mrs. After Blind Friday. Sort of Doom. Again, I always recommend this. Make sure you have that in your collection. What else do you find? Oh, we have that. Oh, we do have 12 monkeys. Yeah, it's good. It's not about monkeys. What's it about? It's about a virus and time travel. Oh. Yep. Actually. I just read the back, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> this is Sons of the Lambs. There's a 4K of that. Not on Criterion, but, you know. But, hey, um, I forget who put it on. Kino? I don't remember. Anyway. 310 to Yuma. This is a really good um, Western. Tulane Black Top is really good. Ooh, Vanishing. Virgin Suicides 4K. Virgin Suicides. This is such a good movie. I really recommend it. It's so beautiful. I really recommend it. Let's see. Woman in the Dunes is really good. Woman in Love. I don't know that one. Or Women in Love. Ken Russell. What? 1969. Psychosexual radicalism. Uh, I'm gonna do some research on this one. But Ken Russell. Wait, wait. Oh, but this is a DVD. Okay. Well. Yeah, I almost, I almost snatched it up. Just name based on name alone. Director's name alone. There's Vampire. Same director. All right. Tree of Life. We got 4K. Hopefully. I recommend both of these, Throwdown and Throne of Blood. Great, great movies. Alright, surprisingly, there's none of the last year that jumps out at me to buy. But I do have three and potentially four. I have my eyes on this. I mean, here it's weird, but it kind of speaks to me. I found another Criterion section upstairs. Yes? Well, that's not really Criterion, but that is a, what is that, $30, 30% off? It said Criterion up there, and Did then it? there was movies in this one. Was uh, I think they're it. lying to you. What do you think about jellyfish eyes? That actually creeps me out. What even is, ugh, don't look at the picture. There's nothing on the back. He's kind of, he's, I think he's crazy. But this, I don't know. And look, it's 30 bucks for the Blu-ray, so it would be $15. That's worth a gamble, in my opinion. Lastly, found another section of more just new arrival titles, but I wanted to give you the full experience of shopping at the Grove and Barnes and Nobles. Here is what they have available. Nothing here for me specifically, but uh, I'm gonna pick out of this stack. I recommend and then, this movie. What do you recommend? Spectre? Good. Alright. So I got this, and I'm gonna pick two out of here, and I'll show you what I grabbed at uh, this epic Barnes & Nobles. Arrow update. Here is a little table of arrow goodness. Hey, look. Little somehow, Master pointed it out. Somehow there are the movies from up there here. Yeah. So let's see let's see what they have for for grabs. Road cops, absolutely get. A snake girl, absolutely get. To sleep to dream is so beautiful. To sleep is so as to dream. That's what's called. Really great. Highly recommended. I don't recommend the show Roblox sets. I reviewed those. Oh yeah, that one's not good. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, maybe the One Missed Call trilogy. We don't have that. See that green one? My hands are full. Yeah, that. The, the, the other one. That's white. The green one. Yeah. We don't have that. It's a creepy Japanese movie about, a, uh, about like a monster calling on the phone. Like a ghost calling you on the phone. Maybe we'll grab that, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Three films by Two Dot Mike, Two Dot Mike, Two Dot Let's see. Mike. Imitation, the, the initiation of Sarah, that's what it's called. 
bless you. Yeah, Audrey Rose is new. That's why it keeps popping up. Let me grab that. Let the funny grab that. thing is, it has... That's it. Look. Fugitive from the, from the past. That's also really, really good. Can I show you something funny, guys? Yes, yeah, show me something funny. You know how I found two of my bands, but it was like a steel book? A steel book, yeah. Um, yeah, um, on the top floor? Well, guess what? I found it, but it's not a steel book. It looks like a book book. A book book, yeah. That's neat. Whoa, look what we found. The official Netflix store? Well, let's get in line. It's binge-worthy shopping. Netflix. Oh my god, we're in the Netflix, bro. All right, let's see. We got Enola Holmes here with the once and future uh, Superman. Look, it's like, it's like, oh, is it like just like photo, photo uh, ops or whatever? Look, her detective agency. Let's go to the, let's go to the detective agency. Okay, look. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, uh, is is there like a the, thing? This is in the movie. It is in the movie. Yeah, she's sitting there, with people coming. Oh wow. The beginning of the movie. Our future is up to us. Looks like a cool typewriter. That's neat. Oh look, this is probably from the movie, which oh, yeah. I, I haven't seen yet. But... Is this one of the games? This is a, this is this is the Squid Game like sort of like main hallways. This is what they look like. Then you have her up here, keeping eye of the whole store. This is the whole store, by the way. Really neat. What an interesting pop up. We just discovered this. Look at the, you got the little, oh, this is a keto. Can I show you something? Look at this mug. Look at this mug. Can I show you something cool? What are you going to show me? What are you going to show me? The after, um, and the sack. Hold on. Okay. You got the look, pops. Look at these magnets. You got the magnets. Okay, let me show you. Come over there. Oh, look. You're in, you're in Squid Games. Oh, my God. Crazy. I love it. Then they've got t-shirts. Look at this. That's kind of cool, is, man. Is this Korean I think or this something? is. Uh, yeah, I believe so. The back just. I, I think, think it probably just says Squid Games or something. Oh, it says Coco Maraco. Dolls. Who is that? Wow. He's kind of like the leader. He's the one in charge of the games. Oh, I should get you that poster, Red Light. Because you, lo you love her. Red Light. How about oh this? God, Emotionally God. unavailable. Back now in the house. Probably the coolest thing to come out of season four. I wasn't a big fan of season four, but I thought Vecna, Vecna, Vecna. I thought Vecna was pretty neat. There's a cool little uh, photo up here. What's this? Cereal boxes. Do they really sell cereal? What? What? They they sell old cereal? Well, not old, but oh, collectible only, not for human consumption. Well, what's in it? What the heck? What's in it, I wonder? Uh, okay. Uh, that's very odd. Kind of looks at the old fashioned boxes. If, There's a I new wonder book. What this is made of. That's like, expensive. I wonder what this is made of. Like foam? Uh, take a bite out of it. It's candy. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh look, a pop up book. Stranger Things pop up book. Oh, that's cool. Hawkins Arcade the welcomes you. Sweet tank top to rock out with. That's actually cool. They'll put that, you know, put like a jean jacket on and you're rocking it, man. You get it. Is this? It's a Squid Game doll. Look, look, it's official Stranger I'm Things cool. flashlight. Let me, can I show you something cool, though? These are speakers. These are the weirdest looking speakers I've ever seen. Wow. This is epic. The Fire Club. Although it, it, it features Russian uh, Hopper. And that's the least interesting storyline of all time. Oh yeah, I don't like that storyline. I got an eggnog latte this time. That's good. Not eggy, but it does have that eggnog taste. Real good.
We're back home and um, just enjoying a nice little whiskey and an evening by the roaring fireplace. Now, um, I ended up getting quite a bit in this round, mainly because I took little master with me and um, he had some, some decision making a power. So let me show you what we got. Ended up grabbing a jellyfish eyes. Look, it may suck. It may be the worst thing ever, but uh, this may be my son's gateway into Criterion. So fingers crossed it's good. I have no idea. Uh, he's really into J-horror, which you wouldn't believe, but he is. He doesn't understand Japanese. He can read subtitles for the most part. He's a really good reader. Of course, it comes out and it goes too fast. He's like, wait, what was that? And I had to rewind it or just tell him what happened. But uh, ended up grabbing this. This is the uh, One Miss Call Trilogy. Takeshi Mike directs the first one, I believe. And then the other ones are, I don't know, uh, other people. I've only seen the first one. I haven't seen the other two, so I'm looking forward to it. The others, that's the only arrow, by the way. The rest, the rest are Criteriones. Um, went with Truman. Uh, the, uh, the the classic in um, in Cold Blood. I've read the book oh, years and years ago. Big fan of the book, and I'd never seen the movie. It's one of those things where I just it never hit, it just hit me. I wait. I've never seen In Cold Blood. Now's the time to grab it. Uh, lastly, let me make sure. Okay, so on my way out the door, uh, behind the register, they had this because it wasn't uh, it wasn't at the um, you know it wasn't on the shelf. But I'd be remiss if I didn't grab Cure. This movie is fantastic. It's a new release as of the recording of this video. New release to the Criterion Collection. Fantastic horror film. Crazy, very unique take on the serial killer genre. Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but it's it's a police procedural. It's about a man who... Well, I don't want to say anything. But it's really great. Basically, people all over Tokyo are committing strange murders. Uh, and they don't know why. You'll have to watch the movie to find out. Uh, it's uh, fantastic stuff. Highly recommend it. Uh, so that's uh, definitely a five star recommend for me. And then this was there. And so I said, oh, you know what? I've, I've, I've seen the remake with, oh gosh, Kate Winslet, I believe. And I didn't love it. But I hear the original is way better. So I, I love the cast. Um, uh, uh, Michael Curtiz. That's what I was thinking of. Obviously, uh, Joe Crawford. Um, and and the amazing Michael Curtiz, who is the director of my wife's favorite movie, Casablanca. Yes, that Casablanca. So whenever Curtiz's name is on something, I'm going to check it out. Mildred Pierce, the original. Boom. Very excited. So this... Fourth episode, that's what I ended up getting. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. And I got to hang out at the Netflix store. What did we grab at the Netflix store? Well, uh, Missy loves Stranger Things, so I got her a Steve and Robin video store variant pop, which apparently are, they're rare, I don't know. And then Little Master is getting into Squid Game, so I got him a, a poster of the, uh, you know, the little, um, Girl, the, the girl statue with the guns for the first episode. I got, I got her, I got him a poster of that. It says red light, kind of creepy artwork. Um, he really, he's intrigued by that image. So, uh, yeah, that's what we picked up at the Netflix store. Thank you for joining me on episode four. And give me, it took me a minute to realize episode four, we're not done yet. Stay tuned for more. You've got at least two more coming. Why do I know that? Because I've already recorded them. Yes, it's Black Friday, so I'm busy, so I wanted to get these done to make sure that they were out and available. So stay tuned for episode 5, coming soon, my friend. Happy Black Friday, happy Thanksgiving, thank you for watching. I love you, I love you very much. This is your friend Neighborhood Mastercast, signing off for now. I'm going to enjoy the fire, bid you adieu.